In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export multiple videos from the same project in Camtasia. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time watching my YouTube tutorials, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Camtasia makes it easy for us to create tutorials or screencasts or even learning content uh, that you can share with your, uh, your classes or your friends or even people that need to know something about a particular application, website, or anything that you might be recording. One issue that uh, you might get is that you may have a video that has a step-by-step -step instruction, and uh, you may want to export the particular clip or a particular step as an individual clip. And uh, one of the ways you can do that, and I did a video about that recently, is just highlighting and then right-clicking and saying produce timeline selection as. But what happens when you have different sections that you need to export? You need to try and export all clips as once. And Camtasia makes this very, very easy. And I'm going to show you in this video what you can do. So first of all, I'll just need to clip down this uh, particular clip uh, because it's, uh, it's too long. Uh, let's say at around a minute. And then I can just control A and then press on S to split the clips. Uh, what I need to do next is that I'll highlight from the top down and press on the delete key uh, because I just need to have a one minute clip. And then once I do that, I'll just come back uh, to the start. Uh, that's the zero zero point. So that's the first marker that we have. Uh, you don't need to put it. Uh, so we'll go to the next section. Let's say we go to about uh, 20 seconds around there. And then Depending on the hotkeys that you've set for your markers, uh, the default uh, that ships with Camtasia, I think, is Shift M. Uh, and in versions like Camtasia A8, it was just the letter M. So I'll press on Shift M. And this adds a marker to this particular video. So that is marker one. We go to also, uh, let's say, something like uh, this particular section. Uh, let's say 40 seconds. 40. And then you can either just hover over this particular timeline or a section that you can see now there's a plus. And when you click on it, a new marker is added. So let's say we have two markers uh, on the timeline. What is going to happen is that when we export or share this particular video, we'll make sure that we select that uh, the marker sections need to export to be exported as different clips. So all you need to do now is just come to the share button uh, click on local file and then uh, depending on your editing dimensions and the, where the file is destined always ensure that everything is aligned if the video is destined for YouTube uh, ensure that you edited it in the correct dimensions uh, edited it uh, in the dimensions of where it's going to be the final resting place of that particular video so uh, we can just click on next uh, mp4 just click on next uh, we, we can just do away with the produce with controller, just click on size. Once you click on video settings, and the reason why I'm doing this is so that we can ensure that we have the size that we want for the particular uh, individual clips. Just come on video settings. And in the video settings, click on multiple files based on markers. So we have the first one is an imaginary marker. It's the introduction, uh, but it's going to be there. Then the second marker, then the third marker. Once you do that, uh, the audio settings as well, and then just click on next. Uh, once you click on next, uh, you'll also need to add in any information. If you wanted to include a watermark, uh, you can do that here. Just click on next. And then you'll get uh, these particular marker options. Select which files to produce based on the f uh, from the markers on the timeline. So if you do not want to include a particular section, especially uh, the section that you added individual markers to, you can untick that from here. But since we need all these clips as individual clips, then I'll just click on next. And you'll notice that it's going to give you uh, this particular uh, breakdown of how you're going to get your files. But you can also add uh, a folder. Let's say new folder. Multiple clips, uh, videos using Camtasia. I'll just click on save 
so we're saving it in a new folder now let's click on finish uh, depending on the length of the video that you're working with uh, this may take a long or a short time now the thing I like about this process is that if you're working on a blog post that includes step-by-step -step instruction videos and you want to insert different videos at different locations then this is a very good way also if you're creating YouTube playlists and you've worked on a whole video let's say it's about an hour long and you've mapped out all different steps or even uh, different videos in a same video then you can use this particular process uh, to export all those clips at once without needing to produce each selection individually so I find it uh, quite useful because you can do that for the different step-by-step -step instructions that you're doing uh, and have the different clips available for you uh, to share with your students uh, to share with your followers community uh, and it is a very good way to do this so it's almost done uh, I know it's completed uh, 100% uh, so you're going to get all this uh, information from this uh, it gives you the duration of all the different uh, clips uh, that you have so if you can uh, open the production folder uh, let's just open that uh, you'll get this information but you'll also get the different uh, video files let's just set that out as details uh, the first the introduction at 20 seconds 20 seconds uh, the second one uh, and the third one so you can uh, use this uh, maybe if it's on a blog post uh, on YouTube as individual uh, clips or even playlists if that was for long videos on YouTube so that's how you can uh, export multiple videos from the same project inside Camtasia thank you so much for watching this video until next time kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay safe.